Hope you've got some quirky celebrities, and that's right, I'm starting off this video with a horrifyingly bad pun. We're going to look at every fame quirk, including both how to get it and what it does, and I'll give a quick rating out of 5, revealing roughly how annoying I deem that quirk to be. 5 out of 5 being the most annoying or the worst. Another thing to note is that quirks can add to a sim's personality in fun or bizarre ways, so it's good to think of which quirks could be considered character building. Two star celebrities can have one quirk, three star celebrities can have two quirks, and then five star celebrities can have up to four quirks. Let's get started. First up is Vane Street. This one is very easy to trigger and all you have to do is run over to a mirror and perform a couple of back-to-back -back interactions. Before long, they'll realize that they are absolutely loving their reflection and this quirk will pop up. Character-wise, this quirk is great for a narcissistic celebrity. On one hand, Vane Street can be really annoying, as without using a mirror frequently, your sims will constantly get a tense plus two moodlet that can only be fixed by interacting with a mirror. The flip side of this is that if you have 3000 reward points, you can purchase the carefree trait and you'll never be tense again, meaning that this quirk isn't too impactful in a negative sense at all. Your sim also gains the ability to admire their fine self on a mirror, which will give a plus two confident moodlet for three hours. Overall, I'm giving this quirk a 4 out of 5 in terms of how annoying it is, but if you have the carefree trait, then I'm giving it a 0, as it won't really impact you at all. Moving on now, and it's time to talk about Refined Palette. This is the quirk that every celeb in my game naturally ends up with. I need to tell my sims to calm down with their refined palettes. This is triggered by eating excellent quality meals, and is really quite a good quirk to have. With this active, eating poor or average quality meals will leave your sim with an uncomfortable moodlet for a few hours, but the flip side is that eating excellent dishes will leave sims with a happy plus three moodlet for six hours. Overall, I'm giving this a zero, as I think the positive moodlet outweighs the bad. It's definitely one of the better ones to end up with, just make sure your sim doesn't suck at cooking first. Now keeping with the food and drink theme, it's time for my favorite quirk, which is Juice Enthusiast. You might have guessed, and yes, raise your glasses, because this is triggered by frequently drinking juice. Don't look in your bar though, you're going to want literal orange juice from the quick meal section on the fridge to activate this easily. Without a regular orange juice fix, Sims will get a sad plus one moodlet for three hours, after which it'll transform into a permanent angry plus two moodlet until they've had some juice. What I love about this is that it'll be like 3am and your sim celebrity will be raging, and then you'll be like, oh yeah, she hasn't had her orange juice. I just find it really funny from a gameplay perspective, and I weirdly love the idea of having a sim who can't go without his or her regular fix of orange juice. Like, for juice enthusiasts in the real world, it's like, you do you, I'm not really here to judge. But juice enthusiasts in The Sims, it's like, whoa, this sim is an icon. Now, on the plus side, drinking juice gives a plus two energized moodlet for three hours. Overall, I'm giving this a three, because although it can be a rather annoying quirk, it's also funny, which in my mind makes it more okay. Next up is Phone Fanatic. This one is really easy to trigger. Simply use entertainment options on your phone repeatedly, and before long, it'll come into effect. This will see your sims constantly whipping out their phone for a browse, and if they haven't used their phone for a while, they'll get a tense plus one moodlet. To clear the moodlet, they'll need to use an entertainment action on their phone. Once again, the carefree trait will make this quirk almost a non-issue, so in terms of how annoying it is, I'd give this a three for if you don't have the carefree trait, and a one if you do have the trait, because even with the trait, your sim will still whip out their phone for a browse whenever they have a spare hot minute, and this can be a little annoying. Moving on, and closely related to Phone Fanatic is Public Number. Using lots of frequent social interactions on your phone, such as adding to your Simstagram story, will trigger this, and it'll mean that a range of random sims will have gotten a hold of your precious number. You'll start receiving a range of texts from randos, some positive, others negative. Overall, this one can be a lot of fun with all the messages, and depending on the tone of the message, you'll get a small moodlet, such as flirty, inspired, sad, angry, pretty much any mood really. It's only plus one and will only last for two hours. The annoying thing is that fans will even text you when you're sleeping, which breaks the super speed. Like, girl, this can wait till 8am because I want that super speed sleep. I'm giving this a three out of five. The next quirk we're going to talk about is Stan. And realistically, a Stan is kind of like a euphemism for Stalker. Signing repeated autographs is a quick way to activate this quirk, 
which you'll be doing a lot of if you host a meet and greet event. So that's one way to trigger this. Once you have a stand, they will literally start showing up at your home like a mad stalker. And for some reason, they're often living their absolute best life near the trash can. Like, there are better locations, but you do you. If you don't like your stand showing up, then you can chase them away. I gave my stand my residence key, and we watched the Penguin TV together. But in all seriousness, while these stands are pretty harmless, they can steal from you, and it can be annoying to have a random sim showing up at your home all the time. So I'm giving this a 4 out of 5. It's time to talk about fan mail. You know, from fans that might not like you that much. This quirk is caused by socializing with fans and will see mysterious packages regularly drop into your mailbox. While most of the time this is off fish or food, it can also be quirky objects like future cubes. This is one of the least intrusive quirks and I actually enjoyed seeing the junk I was delivered, so I'm giving it a 0 out of 5. Moving on now to the next quirk, which is paparazzi darling. If you regularly click on paparazzi and choose to pose for pictures, then it won't take long before this quirk pops up. Similar to Vane Street, this quirk is great for a celebrity who is really feeling themselves. This one is interesting, as it'll mean that when you're out and about, more paparazzi will be chasing you, and you'll have a chance of getting a small boost to your reputation when they snap up those pictures. Posing for pictures also gives a confident plus one moodlet for three hours, but while the paparazzi have a positive effect, the increased attention from them also makes it difficult to go anywhere without being swarmed, and they're just a little bit annoying in general. I'll give this a 3 out of 5. The next quirk we're going to look at is no touching, and I'm not going to lie, even though I'm more of a peasant than anyone famous, this would be my quirk. This one is triggered by being touched by strangers with less fame than your sim, think having sims hug you. This will leave your sim with a tense moodlet that activates whenever your sim interacts with a stranger. On the flip side, if you haven't touched anyone in a while, then your sim will gain a confident plus two moodlet that will last indefinitely until they come into contact with a rando once again. Overall, I'm giving this a 2 without the carefree trait and a 0 with it, as if you have the carefree trait, then this quirk means that your sim just becomes confident from time to time, which ain't too bad at all. It's time to rub shoulders with your sim stars with brushes with fame. This activates from touching celebs more famous than your own sim. Ask to hug a couple of 4 or 5 star celebs and you should be good. This will make encounters where you touch or hug celebrities that are at least the same fame level as you give a plus 2 energized moodlet for 2 hours. On the flip side, if you go too long without associating with a celebrity of at least your celebrity rank, then you'll get an indefinite sad plus 1 moodlet until you do. Personally, I found this to be rather frustrating to deal with, so I'm giving this a 4 out of 5 for how annoying it is. Next up is Emotion Bomb. This can be triggered by having your celebrity drop into a very sad or very angry state, and in my opinion, it's one that you want to avoid. With this active, whenever your sim becomes sad or angry, they'll be hit with an emotion bomb moodlet which causes their sadness or anger to intensify. In the case of anger, it's a very strong moodlet which will put your sim straight into an enraged state. And while enraged, there's a small chance that your sims can actually die from cardiac explosion, so avoid this quirk and keep your celebrities alive. Finally, we have the last quirk being a serious actor. This is triggered by completing dramatic gigs in the acting career, meaning it's one of the hardest and most specific or niche quirks to obtain. If you want it, then know that my sim got it after completing a few back-to-back -back gigs of Of Tea and Treachery. This quirk makes it so that any comedy or mischief interaction will leave your sim in a fit of rage with an angry plus two moodlet that lasts for two hours. Seriously, Victoria was not having it. You can rant about professionalism to other sims. Basically, your sim becomes a bit of a douchebag who hates anything fun. The flip side is that your sims will get an inspired plus two moodlet when they are on set acting in a drama gig and they haven't been bothered by any comedy or mischief interactions. Overall, while this quirk is great for character building and really bringing a more uptight sim to life, it's rather annoying to have to deal with on the regular, and I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Alas, that's a guide to all of the fame quirks in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it, and have an amazing day. See you later.